the extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you the new flame feature. Well, I'm going to show you some features of it because there's a lot of features in this flame tool. And this is in Photoshop CC 2014.2 and works using pass. And I'm just going to try to pass and I'm just going to use the freeform pen tool. Just going to quickly create a very basic flame path. There's a just a design. So I'm going to have a flame bursting forward. It's like Cyclops or something, character, Marvel Comics. And I'm actually also going to add a similar one just over here. Just going the other direction. So you can just see it actually works on both, both ways. So I'm just going to go to Window, Pass. And you can see the work path there. Right. Next thing to do, what I'm going to do is go into a layer and new new layer because I want to apply it to a layer. I don't need that feature but it's obviously it just applies it to the background you can't move it. If you apply it to a layer you can move it. Now just go then to filter and render and flame. Now you notice that now the picture frame and tree which were originally in the edit menu in the fill command now in this uh, over here. Much nicer position much better. So flame select flame and there's a vast number of options here. It's actually more than I probably could show you in a couple of hours. It's um, a really quite decent uh, control. But what I want to do by doing those two lines is actually show different angles of the flame. And you can change the length, randomize the length. So just subtle changes that. And you can change the width, make it obviously wider change the angle of the flame, the randomization, etc. And there's other things, interval, etc. That gives you a nice little breaks between them and that sort of thing. Turbulence, opacity, I can obviously make it just, so it's at the moment it's set at 27, so if you put it up to 80, you'll notice it uh, becomes more solid, and much brighter. It's not really very, it could be maybe used for laser blasts or whatever, I suppose, but uh, it's much looks more realistic when it's about 25 I think it's flames and there's also other flame style and how it spreads and also you can modify the colour so if you don't want um, this colour you can go for a green flame etc which may be very effective and you can modify the as well as randomise the shape and arrangement so if you change that it will change this design you can see it will come up with different uh, different styles of thing I mean so if I move it just slightly you'll notice that the flames change a little bit yeah, slightly different flames than before. Right, and you can also got mod different flame type. You go the candle lights are really nice, great for Christmas candle designs, and other other options which I will go through over in other videos. But one good, also you can save presets. And I've got some flame one, flame two, flame three. Those ones are obviously in there, but you can also create lots of other presets with different flames that you happen to like. Very useful. Click OK. And it's reasonably quick, not as slow as the old original version of the uh, tree. And there you have it, you've got a blast of flames coming from the eye. Not particularly elegantly done, I have to say, but still quite effective in terms of you want sort of flames bursting from a Cyclops Marvel Comics like character. So, actually saying that, just it's one single beam, but anyway, this one can actually do it in two different ways. Then, once you've got once you're actually on a layer you can of course just apply layer styles so you can say drop shadow add drop shadow to the flame makes it more stand out more which is quite nice and of course you can have a bevel as well so you can add sort of a three-dimensional or a contour to the flame but i'm not going to go for that so get rid of that and of course you can apply effects so it's just a layer so you can just go to blur Maybe Gaussian Blur, click OK and you've got a blurred flame. Anyway, hope you found this.